called gas roots, pure full fuel from biomatter. And we've conceived of a company that's more of a brick and mortar company. It's not a startup like the rest of them. Our idea is to take primarily in the beginning large um, amounts of waste matter that are produced all over these areas, basically biomass like um, animal manure, yard waste, that sort of thing, and turn it into fuel. So the, the way we're going to do that is, um, okay, um, what gas roots does is we take plenty of plentiful biomass, like for, for example here in Lexington, we got a huge horse manure problem. That's not really a waste, it's a resource. And then we process that into pure fuel. So that, that would eventually become the, the ethanol. So you start out with this waste, tons and tons of free horse manure, yard clippings. In Lexington, we already take that all to the dump anyway. And that stuff just sits there. So that's all the fuel that we would have. We would process that into pure, pure fuel. And it would act not only be net zero carbon, because we would be so self-sustaining, we would also be net positive carbon. Because not only would we fuel our own processes, we actually also create additional energy that we don't use up. It can be harnessed and stored and, and used for other purposes. We'll be totally off grid, um, and therefore, if we end up having to take this someday to a, a really remote location, we can set it up at a remote location out in the middle of the desert where there's all this cattle, you know, that sort of thing. And we could do it totally off grid, self sustaining, and not need any source of electricity or any other sort of energy to get started other than the sun. Um, we'd be totally self-sustaining, like I said, so we can go anywhere with it. And it can be scalable or portable. It can be on a very small scale. Picture something like the Woodford Reserve, you know, that sort of a fermentation distillation process on that sort of a scale, scaled all the way up as, as high as you need to. There is a 2,000 ton pile of manure that was on fire for four months out in the West, cow manure. And that took four months for it to finally stop burning. So that's, on that scale, it can be scaled up to that level if it need be. Okay, so we can use animal manure, which um, doesn't seem like a lot, but if you've ever been on any kind of dairy or other animal farm, there's a lot of manure to deal with. In fact, in Lexington, I was told by an environmental compliance um, director here in uh, Lexington that horse manure right now is their largest waste concern in the waste managed, solid waste management division. It's horse manure. And um, so agricultural waste, things like, um, you know, this, the, the leftover stuff from any kind of agricultural production, any kind of cellular material, and yard waste, which in the city we already collect, and other possible biosources, if they were, we were to run out of those, we could actually grow crop grasses specifically designed to be used for to make biofuels, such as switchgrass. There are some that are very high sugar and high cellulose content, which are perfect for that. So we could actually grow crops specifically for that purpose if we ran out of waste material. And if it got to the point where it might be more economical, we could actually go to landfills and start mining the things out of them. And about half the matter in, landfill, in landfills are actually uh, biodegradable. So we could bring those out, mine those, and take the, you know, the product out of that, and then just have that solid waste that's left over. So the biochemical process is involved in this. Um, Javon will uh, talk about it's, that. It's, it's like uh, other biochemical processes. But the Unquenched produce. Uh, only difference is uh, uh, we are adding the animal manure and the cellulose together. Basically, uh, most of the distillers, the distillers are uh, making alcohol from the grains, uh, various kinds of grains. So there is, there is a question about fuel or the food. So it's always alternative. We are not taking food or the grains or anything, and not even cellulose alone. We are taking the animal waste, which is the problem of environment and the social problem. So we are taking animal manure and the cellulose together in the fermenter. For the cellulose uh, waste to decompose into the glucose, we need a bacteria, which will be provided by animal manure. So both are a combined uh, processes. In fermentation, after fermentation, we uh, distillate. And for the distillation, the byproduct of the fermentation, we are using a methane, which is a byproduct of fermentation for the distillation and producing ethanol and uh, we don't have uh, any waste out of this process uh, byproducts are emitted and uh, organic fertilizers so whatever comes out is the organic fertilizers and so the methane we're actually it seems that it's a byproduct but we're actually putting it back in to create the self-sustaining nature of the system so that's a byproduct that we actually use right there on the site and if we were to use the excess we could put it into liquid uh, methane form and use it as a like a cylindrical fuel 
Okay, any applications of this? Ethanol, I'm sure you've heard all kinds of stuff about ethanol. can be used pretty much for any use that a fossil fuel is being used for, and it's an economical fuel. Um, okay.